Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. You've caught me opening the Christmas present. This is another load of gear from the Sportsman Gun Centre with the latest bunch of review products. So I'm not 100% sure what's inside here, but we shall see. Pop that on the floor, spin this around, see what we've got. I think that's upside down. So we've definitely got an FX in here. Now I think this is going to be a crown to FAC. And here we are. It's more than just a crown to FAC. Let's have a look and see what we've got to start with. Well, let's look at the gun first because that's what everybody's going to like the most. Then we'll go through some of the other products. I did a review about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, on the Crown 2 in 12 foot pound. And actually, it was one of my favourite FX air rifles. It still is, actually. I do like the Dynamic a lot. And to be fair, if I'm honest, I've also ordered a Dynamic in FAC as well, which will be here perhaps in a few weeks time. But this is, um, I think it's a 25 cal, but it might be a 30 cal. Let's have a little look, see if we can see on here, because I have got multiple barrel sets for it, but just let's get one moment on this. So well, there's a 25 and a 30, or it might be a 25 and a 22. Right, that is a 500 millimeter 22 barrel kit which means that this, I think, is a 30 cal, because I remember I ordered two of them, but I can't remember which way around it's set up. So that is going to be really interesting, because the 30 cal is... I've had 35 cal in the past, but it's difficult to get projectiles, and I think 30 cal is about as big as you really want to go with good projectile availability. The reason I like the, the, uh, the crown is because I kind of like the looks, I like the wood stock, I like the fact it's quite ambidextrous, and you can shoot it from either shoulder. Picatinny rail, scope mounting's easy, body bottle on the front here. It's not too high profile, it's not too heavy. It's got a great trigger, side lever as usual. But the thing I like about it most is it's a little bit simpler. We've got the two power adjusters and tuning here, which means that I'm not gonna spend all day and all night tuning and refining and tuning and refining and tuning and refining. I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna shoot it, because I've got fewer options to pick from, you could say. But I actually like that, because as a hunting rifle, which is what I want to use this for, that's going to be ideal. So let's just pop that down a second. What else have we got in this box? Well, we've got a magazine for the air rifle, which is there. It looks like 30 cal. Ah, we've also got Zan projectiles. Now these are Zan slugs, <coughs> excuse me. These are the 30 cal ones. I've already got some 22 cal slugs over here. So I've got Zan slugs in 30 and 22 caliber. So I'm gonna be trying these. I've already shot them on one of my previous reviews in 25 caliber when I did the Pantera a few weeks ago. So have a look at those on there. They perform very, very well actually. So that's gonna be great. And of course, with this being FAC, we've got plenty of oomph to drive these heavy projectiles because the 30 cal ones are 63 grains. That's gonna be interesting to see how much energy we can get from that. We're probably gonna still stay around about 950 feet per second maximum. And then the, the two two slugs are a bit more civilized at just 25 and a half grains. So that's gonna be that's gonna be really good fun. I mean, I do love two two FAC air rifles. I think it's it's a great thing, but it's fun playing with the bigger ones. Right, this is the barrel kit. So the barrel will be in here with a full let's see if I can pop that out of there. Just knock the foam out the end. More foam in the end. And there we go. So we've got a full barrel moderator kit. That's the 2.2 caliber one. So I'll be using that with this gun as well. What else have we got in there? Anything should be a magazine maybe in a probe perhaps. Let's have a little look. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, that looks like we've got a fill probe there for that. So, hopefully there'll be another magazine in here somewhere, but we shall see about that in the long run. What else have we got next? Right, these are the new Element Optic XT mounts. So, um, I've been here using Element Optic's Aculite mounts, Aculite mounts a lot, and those are really, really nice. These are a little bit less, uh, less expensive. 
They're available in uh, one inch and 30 millimeter, but you can have them in dovetail fit or Picatinny fit. Low, medium or high on the Picatinny ones, which I've got here. And I go through loads of rings on all the review rifles I'm using. And 30 mil is about the most common. And I do like Picatinny all in all for its superb capability. So a set of those will no doubt be going on this rifle. If we look at this set here, just pop those open. Those are the uh, air gun or rimfire dovetail. Compare those with the Picatinny, you can see the difference in size and the fit type. But the rings overall, essentially similar. So we'll be using those in the due course of lots of reviews. But I need to get off this video now because I want to put this together. I'm going to put um, a Pard DS on this because I love using Pard DS. It's superb for either daylight or for ratting. Any type of hunting I'm going to do an air rifle, that will work well for. I've got all the ballistics and everything on that. So that's going to be a new experiment and actually fun for me because in 30 cal, I've got some pellets, I've got some slugs and it will be a really interesting um, adventure to see how we go with that. Learning about the ballistics of the 30 cal, see what energy we can develop from this rifle, what velocities we can do. And then when I've had a good go with the 30 cal, I'll swap it over to 2.2, but I think I need to get a 2.2 mag for it first. Oh, hang on, what's that third box there? I didn't notice what they were. Those are more Zan slugs. These are 2.2 cal, these are 28 grains. The previous ones were 25 and a half. So given, you know, like for like, if I run those at the same speed, those will give me a little bit more energy if that's something I need. But it's all to experiment with, all to uh, do some testing on, and let's see how we go. So just to look at a few of the last features about this FX Crown, the fill adapter, it's a Foster fill adapter, it goes on the bottom there, so it's really discreet and nicely, uh, nicely shielded from getting bumped and banged around. One of the other products I didn't actually show you, which is also in this box, is we've got a bipod adapter for it. So that, to Sabre Tactical, this one, Sabre Tactical Universal Bottle Clamp 60 millimeters. This one, um, I used one of these on the crown before. That one opens up, it clamps onto the bottle at the front, it means I can put a bipod on it using the bottle as an extension of the forend effectively. That will give me a lot more stability, makes it a lot more shootable. Just because I thought you'd like to see this, I'm gonna open this up. This crown too has got on it 600 millimeter barrel so we're going to develop some good speed out of that but i'm going to open you these projectiles and just show you the 2.2 versus the 30 cal i don't want to drop these everywhere so let's just be a little bit careful about this i quite like the fact you get a target with zan slugs slide those out of there carefully you get all oh, else is in here we've got a few targets in there a bit of cardboard in there and they peel off the top. So you do need to just be a little bit careful you don't go dropping them everywhere. I'm just gonna tip one of those that. That is a 30 cal slug. Did I say 63 grains? That is a 63 grain 30 cal slug. That is an absolute monster. Let's just pop that down one second. Those are the, let's go for the 25.522 ones just to give you a bit of comparison on camera. So that is a 25 grain 2.2 calibre slug compared to a 63 grain 30 calibre slug. Now that is going to have some serious oomph for it and um, I'll be very interested to see how they perform. Right, there we go. Um, if you want to make, make some comments, please like about like this gun, but please give me your comments. Tell me what you like to hear about the FX Crown 2 in 30 cal and 22 cal, and we can add that to the whole review concept. And, and in the meantime, please like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell, because that is what drives the channel. If you want to go all the way through to the end of the video, there's a link to the tickets for next year's 2024 British Shooting Show in Birmingham at the NEC. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye for now.